Here at Everglades Alligator Farm, we have several species of crocodiles, three of which are endangered species. This one that we're at uh, right now is your uh, Cuban crocodile. You can tell from the name where it's from, Cuba. And I think it's one of the prettier crocodiles, very pretty uh, black and yellow markings on it. Now she can actually stay submerged like that under the water for over four hours, as long as she's in a resting mode like that. We're here at the Orinoco Crocodile uh, Habitat. Uh, this Orinoco crocodile is a very endangered species. Uh, it's found in uh, Venezuela in the Orinoco River. Um, we're quite fortunate to have it here. As you look at it, you'll notice it doesn't uh, resemble the Cuban crocodile with the bright black and yellow, but it's more of a grayish and black uh, with a yellowish or whitish uh, body on the bottom. Plus the jaw is much more longer and narrower, more similar to our American crocodile. Uh, eyes not quite as bright green as our Nile crocodile that we'll see in a little bit. But again, this is your Orinoco crocodile found in the Orinoco River in Venezuela and a very endangered species and rare uh, specimen. Uh, where we are right now is our American crocodile exhibit. This is an American crocodile. She's a female, approximately 30 years old. Now, unlike our American alligators, that they estimate over 2 million alligators in the wild, our American crocodile is an endangered species, and they estimate fewer than 2,000. Uh, in 2009, we had record cold spells here in Florida, and for the first time ever in the history of Florida, it got so cold it actually killed off our American crocodiles. We lost over 200 adult breeding crocodiles from the wild in 2009. Now, if you look at this crocodile, you notice it's very grayish in color. Uh, turns a little yellowish and whitish as you get to the bottom. When it sticks its head up in the water, one of the things that you can identify this one from your own local and the Cuban crocodile, right here in the center of its nose is this hump. Uh, that's evident only on your American crocodile. Now they have 60 teeth in their mouth, and as uh, he's broken a tooth off here, but they will replace their teeth. In their lifespan, they'll go through approximately 3,000 teeth. Okay, we're in the Nile crocodile exhibit now. As you can see, we have many of them. We have approximately uh, 34 American crocodiles here. They have come up to basically eat some food I put here on the ground. Now as you look at them, it's a little hard to tell the difference between these and our American. But if you look closely, you'll notice that they don't have the bulge on top of the nose like our American does. And also the eye isn't quite as dark, or I'm sorry, not quite as light green as our American crocodile eye was. 